every consultant I speak with has a point of view. But for any number of reasons, they do a terrible job of articulating it. They don't write it down. They don't include it on their website. And they don't even include it in their verbal messaging. I'm not talking about a value proposition or the tactical services a consultant provides. I'm talking about a point of view, which is an explanation of how you help somebody achieve what they want to achieve. How do you move them from where they are today to where they want to be in the future? It is your philosophy built upon your values, and it is a starting point for your actual services. If your potential clients aren't clear as to your point of view or how you can help them get the results that they are looking to achieve or how you're different from your competitors, the result can be a potential client walks away. They look for help elsewhere. And I don't know about you, but that's not what I want. You want to make it easy for a potential client to say yes. A clear and explicit point of view is one key way to make it easier for people to say yes. Your point of view helps market you. This video explains what is a point of view. I've included a few examples and I discuss a few ideas to help you create your own point of view. Hello, I'm Laura Burford. This Consulting Insight focuses on one way to help you market you so that you can build relationships with potential clients, people with whom you want to work with, and one way to build solid relationships with the clients you already have. As you listen to this video, if you like this video, click the like button. And if you are interested in future consulting videos, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to be notified when the next video is available, click the bell. As you listen to this video, if you have any comments or questions, post them down below. I promise I will respond to the comments and questions. A point of view helps a consultant stand out in a crowded field of other consultants. It is a consultant's differentiator. It is one of a consultant's most valuable assets, and it is part of a consultant's intellectual property. Many consultants believe that their point of view is their most valuable asset because it helps set them apart from their competitors. When they explain their focus and who is their ideal client, they also clearly articulate how they can help a client achieve what they want to achieve. They explain their philosophy, their point of view, and they do it in such a manner that it grabs the other person's attention, grabs it so the other person says, I want to hear more. When they write or they verbalize their point of view, they make it interesting. Let's look at a consultant who helps small business owners. The consultant articulates their point of view, their philosophy, by highlighting their belief that small business owners who are looking to grow their business need a person who listens to them and is a sounding board, a person with whom they can confide and discuss their struggles and their challenges, but not only confide with them. They're looking for a person, a consultant who can help eliminate roadblocks, such as a small business owner trying to do everything themselves. This belief is based on the consultant's own experiences and research. The consultant's point of view illuminates how they, the consultant, acts as a sounding board. They do it with the help of stories. And 
how they work with a business owner to move them from where they are to where they want to be. And it starts by assessing what the client is already doing and their needs, then helping them implement change and being that ongoing sounding board. A consultant's point of view is their philosophy, and it is strategic. A point of view drives a consultant's methodology. A point of view and the methodology helps a consultant determine what services they're going to offer, what tactical services they're going to offer. A consultant's point of view is also instrumental in delivering services or how you deliver services to a client. And it helps you become the consultant of choice. Here is another story to help explain point of view. When I first started out on my own as a consultant, I provided IT management consulting services. One of my smaller clients was struggling to determine which network provider to hire. They had three proposals and all three provided similar outsourced network services. And the costs were basically the same. To help select the right service provider for them, we decided to re-interview each of the service providers. One service provider walked through the proposal and explained the proposal in detail and stated, you can trust us to do the right thing. But they didn't do a great job when it came to answering questions. And the client didn't feel extremely comfortable with the provider and didn't trust them. The second service provider explained their daily work effort, walked through the proposal, answered questions, and ended the conversation with, when will you be making a decision? We would like to get started today. The third service provider took a slightly different approach. The owner showed up and led the conversation and started the conversation by explaining their thought process around outsourcing of network services. One key comment he made was, we understand and we believe one of the most valuable assets for a small business is their network. We take it seriously. It was their point of view, their philosophy. The service provider listened closely to the questions and the concerns of the client and constantly came back and pulled their point of view into the conversation. They didn't leave the meeting until every question was responded to. They weren't the lowest cost service provider out of the three. But the conversation led to trust between the client and the service provider. As a consultant, it is important to not only have a point of view, but also to be able to articulate it. Your point of view helps you be real. It shows you understand a client's problems or the opportunity for which they need assistance, and you know how to help them. A clearly articulated point of view helps a consultant build trust. But here's the secret behind defining your point of view. Points of view are rarely new, amazing, disruptive ideas. Rather, points of view are a combination of your beliefs, pre-existing concepts, and ideas that are modified and reframed to form a new approach, a new angle, 
your philosophy, your point of view. Netflix isn't a consultant, but I believe the Netflix story is an excellent point of view example as to how the founders leveraged existing concepts and ideas to create a new business based on their beliefs about streaming content. Netflix focus, their mission is to entertain the world. The founders of Netflix disrupted the cable industry by leveraging disruptions that were already occurring and they reframed existing concepts. The first disruption they leveraged was the moving of rented movies from brick and mortar facilities, such as Blockbuster, to being able to rent movies online. The second disruption that they leveraged occurred as the internet became more stable and prevalent and streaming became not only possible, but reliable. The founders not only leveraged the existing disruptions, but they built on the subscription model of magazines and newspapers. The result was the emergence of an online streaming subscription entertainment service that not only provided access to existing movies, but movies and television series unique to them. There were no new inventions, but the founders creatively reframed existing concepts and ideas and created a new business based on their point of view about streaming content. So how do you create your own point of view? Keeping your focus and ideal client in mind Start by listing your beliefs and opinions. Brainstorm ideas and rely on creativity. Creativity cannot be forced. Creativity is not a process. Creativity takes time and it also requires observing what is occurring around you. And then changing your mindset from what is to what might be. And finally, crafting a new approach based on your beliefs, existing concepts, and ideas. Use creativity and leverage your experience and expertise. Create metaphors, write stories, and ask for feedback from other people about your point of view. Write out your point of view. I prefer to draw my point of view out because it's easier for me to see. And when I talk to people, it's easier for people to grasp as I ask them for feedback. Sometimes a point of view is right on target out of the gate, but often it needs to be refined. And occasionally it needs to be tossed out completely, requiring you to start over. There's another video on this channel that discusses and provides, that discusses point of view, but it also provides an exercise, a short exercise to help you create your own point of view. Use that exercise in addition to what I just mentioned in this video. I will provide a link in the description area below so you can easily find that video. My point of view, my philosophy, is based on my own consulting experiences, as well as experiences of other successful consultants. I want to see independent consultants and similar consulting businesses succeed. To succeed, I believe consultants need to attain an understanding of what is consulting and have a solid but flexible framework that they can use as a guideline. That framework needs to work for a person new to consulting, as well as that person who's been consulting for years. I call my point of view the consultant's blueprint. Yes, it is okay to give your point of view a name. I've included two links in the description area below. One is to a video that explains the consultant's blueprint in detail, and the other is a link to 
a consultant assessment, which is a series of yes and no statements to help a consultant assess themselves. A point of view helps a consultant stand out in a crowded field of other consultants. A point of view is a consultant's differentiator. It is what makes them unique and helps them articulate why them, why them over a competitor. When a point of view is added to a consultant's message, the message becomes all that much more powerful because not only does it explain your why and what, your focus, that one thing for which you want to be known, and your ideal client, who you want to work with and who you hope wants to work with you. It explains your how, your philosophy, your point of view. Your point of view helps market you. Your point of view helps drive your methodology and the services that you provide to clients. Your point of view also helps you as you deliver services to clients, helping you become the consultant of choice. Points of view are rarely new, amazing, disruptive ideas. They're just not. Creating a point of view is leveraging your opinions, beliefs, experience, and existing concepts. It requires brainstorming ideas and relying on creativity to craft an approach, a philosophy that works for you and your clients. Creating a point of view can't be rushed. It takes time and points of view are continually being refined. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. I appreciate it. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please click the like button. If you would like additional insights, consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified when the next video is available. In the description area, you will find links to the consultant's blueprint video, the consultant's assessment document, and another point of view video, the one I mentioned earlier, that includes an exercise. Use that video in conjunction with this video to help you craft your own point of view. If you have any questions or comments, post them below in the comment section. I take the time to respond to every comment and question asked. Until next time, and I do hope to see you on a future video, take care.